Hey Marvel fans, my name is Ryan, aka Agent M. Yes, I'm a secret agent and I have a very special mission, which is not so secret. It is to read with you a very fun Spider-Man story called Marvel Superhero Adventures Web Designers. So the story is called Don't Get Mad. It's part one. Let's dive right into it. When the story opens up, we see Spider-Man and he has just webbed up Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, and jack o -Lantern. There's TVs playing to the side of them. The captions where Spidey's thoughts begin. Know what you get when the Green Goblin, Hobgoblin, and Jack-O-Lantern all attack at once? A whole lot of gliders and pumpkin bombs. Not to mention aches, pains, and a major case of exhaustion. And Spidey yawns, which every time I look at this panel, I get really tired. He says, all I want now is a relaxing warm bath and a long nap. He starts to swing away when his spider sense goes off. He thinks, whoops. No rest for the weary. My spider sense is signaling danger. I don't see anything. And then the whole place starts rumbling. He says, what? An earthquake? But New York doesn't have earthquakes. And then we see the shocker show up. He says, not unless you're getting rocked by the shocker. Spidey says, oh, no offense, Shocky, but after a gaggle of goblins, I'm kind of glad that I'm just up against your vibration powers. Plus, not a lot of bad guys can pull off a costume made from a quilt. Then, out of nowhere, he hears Spider-Man. Spidey turns around, the lizard too? What is this, national gang up on wall crawlers day? As Spidey dodges, he thinks, with the lizard in the mix, this just got a lot more dangerous. He hears from off panel, Spider-Man. Spidey thinks, and there's someone else too? Woo, it's just the TV. Behind him, TVs are broadcasting, and he hears, we're here with Daily Bugle publisher J. Jonah James was concrete proof that the hero known as Spider-Man is actually insane. Jonah continues, that's right, the Daily Bugle hired a bunch of overpaid psychiatrists who all concluded that Spider-Man's nuts. Of course, the wall crawler's crazy. Why else would he dress like that? Spidey thinks, just what I need, a jolly Jonah claiming I'm crazy. As if I don't already have my hands full with the lizard and the shocker, I must be exhausted. I got so distracted I almost forgot about and he's very confused. He turns around and he says, where'd they go? Gone. He opens up the sewer and he says, they could have ducked into the sewer, but why would Liz and the Shocker be together anyway? What would make those two team up? And he hears, not what, but who? All criminals obey when the Crime Master commands. We see Crime Master flanked by a couple of his cronies. Crime Master says, allow me to demonstrate. Enforcers, attack. Spidey says, so you're behind this crime master. In that case, nothing. Not Ox's strength, or Montana's rope tricks, or Fancy Dan's martial arts moves is going to stop me from putting an end to this madness. You guys, I really love Fancy Dan. Crime master starts to fade away and Spidey goes after him, but crime master says, an end? My dear Spider-Man. Spidey's trying to get through to crime master and he says, my hands passing through like a ghost. The madness has only just begun. While Crime Master is laughing evilly. Ha 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 ha. That's my best evil laugh. Spider Man says, It's not possible. They can't just disappear. But, but there's no trace of any of them. I, I couldn't have imagined it all. Could I? Spidey, thinking about that, is taken off guard because someone knocks into him. The rhino says, Does this feel like your imagination? Spidey says, The rhino, at last, a villain I can touch. Can't even do that because from the other side comes another bad guy who says, yeah, and we can touch you. Or did you forget the steel plated power of your old pal, Hammerhead? Spidey gets knocked senseless off to the side. Cow! He gets hit into a newsstand. Newspapers and magazines flying everywhere. Spidey, looking very upset, says, no, I didn't forget, but I would like to forget this day ever happened. The newspaper actually says, is the web head whacked? Spidey, trying to figure out what's going on, stands up with a newspaper in hand. He thinks, let's go, Spidey. Shake it off. No matter how tired I am, I can't just lie down and quit. And he thinks, well, at least Rhino and Hammerhead didn't vanish like the others, as Rhino and Hammerhead run off away from the fight. Spidey whips a web, and he thinks, but they are getting away, unless I can catch. As Spidey is in the air, he is confronted by a giant green dragon who says, what? Mortal dares disturb the slumber of Fin Fang Foom. I can't help but get into a Fin Fang Foom voice. He's one of my favorite characters. Look, we even got a statue of him right here. Anyway, Spidey is freaked out at this point. He thinks, a dragon? The whole world's gone crazy. As he's thinking that, 
things get really weird. Another dude says, crazy, eh? Let me tell you, I know a thing or two about crazy. This guy is on a unicycle and he's juggling and he looks like a clown. Next panel, two dudes flipping and swinging in, say crazy, crazy. Spidey says, what are you doing? Has everybody gone insane? Spidey, behind him, hears, careful, Spider-Man, if you think everyone's insane, the real insane one might be you. And Spidey says, I don't know, Ringmaster. If the circus of crime keeps coming after me much longer, I might wind up agreeing with you. Then again, why would I think you're crazy? Just because you're shooting people at me? He says this as he dodges a dude who looks like a human, I don't know, like a bullet of some sort. Spidey then leaps out of the way, he says, Eep! And snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? Which is a great reference you will appreciate as you get older. Finally, Spidey needs to clear his head. He whips up a web, he starts to swing away when he hears, Oh, you have worse things to worry about than snakes. Far worse. This is said by Thanos, who's just hanging out with the other bad guys, Loki, Carnage, Venom, and Red Skull. We end with up close on Spidey, who just says, uh-oh, which is classic Spider-Man. Thanks for watching Marvel Read with me. Stay tuned for part two.